Okay, I'll give a brief story so that you follow it. Now, Joseph had been taken down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him down there to Egypt. Hear this. The Lord was with Joseph and was a successful man. Ah, I said, what? How? That's what puzzles me. God saying, Joseph is a successful man. He was a slave living in a foreign country, separated from his fa family and brothers without a friend in the world to name. Tell your neighbor, without a friend in the world to name. He was about to be thrown into the dungeon for a, for a crime he did not commit. The Bible crowns him with the title successful. You, eh, 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 they have changed now, uh, uh, what? They have changed, eh, what? They, but you are free. Why you feel, eh, 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 eh. You are starting choruses you don't finish. Look at that. The Bible crowns him with the title. Successful, successful man. They, can I tell you something? The whole entire Bible, there's nothing like this. It was only on Joseph. What is success? What is success? Here is a gentleman. And your God has not told you that you are successful. It's Joseph. Why? Joseph, rather than giving up, he arose to the top in whatever way was possible under any circumstance. Joseph never lost hope. No, did he become bitter and blame others? That's where a lot of us, we waste our time. I challenge you here this morning. There is not a single verse in the entire Bible that records Joseph bemoaning the injustices that were perpetuated upon him. Never! What did Joseph do? He simply made the best the very best of every situation. Joseph never cried because of the situation. The, at the worst, he made the best. How did you become a boss in prison in a foreign land? No, no, no. We don't wake up and start thinking, what is my objective? What is my mission? How am I going to accomplish what I want to accomplish? And when I finish this, what will be the result? Oh, people. People of God. That's a message.